reform thug life. And so if naturalism is true, then the person who's propounding it is propounding it. Why? Because his or her brain has required them by the laws of physics and chemistry and biology to say this sort of thing. It's not as though they have the freedom and self-awareness to think about different theories, evaluate evidence, and make a choice as to which is right or wrong. They just have to say whatever they have to say. And that's why the irony is that a naturalist would promote naturalism and try to tell people it's true. You should believe that and not supernaturalism. The answer is, if naturalism is true, so that your brain is just working on the laws of physics, then you have no reason to believe naturalism is true. It's just the laws of physics requiring you to say that. Which is just to say, if naturalism is true, there's no reason to say that naturalism is true. You're just forced to say that, just like I'm forced by the laws of physics to say the opposite. Unbelievers cannot even account for why we argue with each other then, can they? On their assumptions, there's no argument because there's no freedom to choose the truth over against error. There's just the laws of physics governing my brain to say and do whatever it does. The unknown God. When somebody offends you, they gotta pay. But when you offend God, I guess it makes it okay. You his enemy, he separates you from himself forever. You hate God, you won't fully submit to him, never.